Welcome back guys. So I want to cover why it can be so hard to generate confidence as a singer. I got the inspiration for this video, frankly, from events in my life, in my own singing life recently. And many, many times before, I've had so many experiences where I develop some technique, I build some confidence, and I start to get some momentum only to have the sensation of it all kind of crashing down around me. Some type of epiphany I have where I realise like, man, it's just, it's not working. And my confidence starts to scramble away from me again. And I've had this experience many times. And recently I had the experience where I realised, ah, in this particular part of my range, my pitch adjustment is just a bit off, like there's something not quite right there. And I did some work on it and found that there just wasn't enough separation between the closure and the pitch adjustment in my mid-range on certain types of vowels with certain types of consonants. So I've been doing some work on that. The downside of that work and acknowledging that there's a problem is my confidence starts to scramble away from me again. So I'm always battling with this, you know, short-term cost versus long, long-term long gain. We've, we've spoke about this before, or those of you who have seen some of my videos before, we, we've, we've spoken about this. But more specifically about this idea of how do we generate confidence as singers. I want to get up this, this picture, this graph, chart, I don't know what you'd call it, but we'll have a look at it. So... Struggling singers are trapped. They are trapped in the bottom left or just generally on the left hand side of this chart. So we go left to right is skill and bottom to top is challenge level. So when we have low skill, we can't actually access real confidence. We can't actually we're kind of gated off. That part of the world is gate or the singing world is gated off to us. And we just don't have that option. So if the challenge level is high, we become anxious. If the challenge level is medium or low, we get apathy or worry. But the experience of singing is generally not pleasant, in all honesty. The only way we can escape, the only way we can start to move towards confidence, is by developing more skill, more understanding and more knowledge about what we're doing. And that comes from things that we've spoken about, scales, practice, application, how do we get better as singers. But it's quite a profound thing, because if you think about it, as we broaden our skill set, what happens is, whilst you would assume that as we become higher in skill, we automatically shift towards the right and we go towards being able to relax, have control and have flow. But it's not always the case. The context can adjust our ability to apply our skill. So we can have a situation where we are frightened about singing, we're apprehensive about singing, we're worried that we're going to be judged as singers. And that decreases our skill level. It can, it can give us less access to our full abilities, which sucks us back off to the left-hand side somewhat. So rather than higher skill just shifting you over from anxiety to arousal to flow, what really happens is more skill broadens out your access to all these types of emotions on this chart. It doesn't necessarily completely prevent you from feeling worry, anxiety or apathy as a singer. It just gives you a broader palette to draw from. Now, more typically, the higher your skill set gets, the more likely you are to, to lean and sing on the right-hand side of this chart, the more chance there is that you might get into flow. But you are looking at a broader set of emotions as your skill gets higher, not necessarily completely moving away from feeling anxiety or worry as a singer. And this is key to really understand because I've had experiences recently where my skill levels got better but I've found myself much more anxious when I've sung. Now, why is that? Well, sometimes you get all of this excitement, you're practicing new stuff, 
you're finding a way forward. And you go to do a show and all of a sudden you're like, oh man, oh, like, I really hope I can sing good. Like I've been doing all this work and like, I'm just excited. Like, I really want to show people what I can do. Right there, that expectation drags you back over to the left-hand side of this chart. You do a show, your skill falls apart and you're like, I'm singing worse than I did before I found all this new stuff to practice. And I guess the important thing to say to that story is that in order to move across towards more confidence, we have to acknowledge problems and weakness to work on. And that can have an impact on the short term position we, we are in this chart. You know, it can drag us off towards anxiety and worry because we start to get more expectations because we're practicing new stuff. We're getting better. Our skill level is raising. Over the longer term, though, what should happen is we gain more access further right. And as we add complexity to the music, we're able to get into a flow state. We're able to get more access into that state that we all want to be. So I guess what I'm saying is that confidence is a process. Don't necessarily take it too hard if you're working on new stuff and you find you lose confidence initially. Because if you're playing the longer game, and frankly as a singer learning, as a struggling singer trying to improve, you have to play the long game, it's your only chance. Try and maintain perspective. Try and realise that there's sometimes a cost, a short-term cost to trying to improve your skill set. That in the longer term, if you improve your skills, if you get better at what you're doing, you will open up more access to emotions on this chart. You will open up a chance of you to sing with more confidence, a chance for you to sing with more flow, with more control. And this is really how we got to think about developing confidence as a singer. It's not an either or or a zero sum game. It's a process. Sometimes we lean one way, sometimes we lean the other. But if you're a struggling singer and you feel like you're locked, you're just trapped, in apathy, worry, and anxiety. The only real way forward from that spot is to seek to improve your skill set, seek to figure out what is it that I'm missing here? What is what are the basic building blocks that I, that I just don't seem to have when it comes to singing? And that's where somebody like me comes in who can help you and show you, ah, this is what you're not noticing. There's different functions going on in your head. It's just one big lump. But let me show you. Let me show you. Isolate this muscle group. Now let's isolate that muscle group. Ah, do you notice how now you've got these, this sense of two functions working in a sense in isolation and as a team rather than clumped together? Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. How have you developed more confidence with your singing? And hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll catch you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.